I'm back for episode 9. If you want to see more, just keep hitting that like button. Let's do this. Here she is. The hero of She's Devil's Grief. Alive. Come I'm here, girl. Been ones. wanting to meet you. To my so, you're Aloy. I've heard about you from the war party. The hero of Devil's Grief. One of them, maybe. I didn't fight alone. You're Maria. Varl told me you'd know the way to Meridian. The Karja capital. West will take you to it, but their soldiers will stop you long before you get there. They can try. No, what I mean is there's a Karja fort that guards the pass between East and West. Word is the Karja have sealed the gate out of fear of the corrupted machines infesting our sacred land. Ah, then I'll go to the fort and tell them it's dealt with. I've destroyed the corrupted machines in the valley. All by yourself? I'm good with a bow. How far has the corruption spread? I've seen it myself in machines at the head of the valley, and there's been word of corrupted machines in the south, too. Whatever the corruption is, it doesn't just affect machines. It burns flesh and sickens the injured. Do the corrupted machines have any weaknesses? Fire seems to affect them more than ordinary machines. A small mercy. This is a curse only the goddess can lift. Unless we find out what's behind it and put a stop to it. The matriarchs have spoken, Aloy. All we can do is fight, and pray to the goddess. Mother's crown guards the edge of the sacred land, right? So do you see a lot of foreigners here? Yes. Not here in the village itself, of course, but in the valley beyond. Since the war ended, foreigners have been allowed in the valley, and Nora can trade with them, if they choose. It's a kind of in-between place, neither foreign nor sacred land. If you're curious, visit Hunter's Gathering. It's little more than a heap of dingy shelters and tents, but foreigners use it as a way station. Sounds like a place where I could find out more about Meridian. So you're in charge of the defenses here? I have Sona's counsel. Though she really should rest. Good luck convincing her to do that. Mother's crown defends itself. During the war, it survived 15 assaults, broke three invasions. We will endure. Trying to live up to glorious pasts has a way of getting people killed. You wouldn't know this, but I won the proving the year I ran. Like you, I started off behind, had to find a shortcut. I barely made it, crossed the finish line with a broken ankle. This isn't the proving, Maria. This is real. You missed my point. Getting posted to Mother's Crown? It was the boon I requested. My prize for winning. Trying to live up to the glory of the Nora hasn't killed me yet. But if it has to, I'm willing. So I'll find this Karja fort to the west? And beyond that, Meridian? Yes, the Karja call the place Day Tower. It's not far from the Forsaken Village. What Forsaken Village? It had a name once, not that it matters now. I was born there. What happened to it? The war. The Karja destroyed in one of their red raids. I was 15 at the time. I got away, others weren't so lucky. The Nora withdrew to this place, Mother's Crown. Relinquished our claim on the valley. Even now, with the war behind us, we've left the valley be. A kind of buffer between the Sundom and our sacred land. I should be going. All right. Be careful out there, Aloy. I hope you find whatever it is you're after. Never see a corrupted machine. Now, the interesting thing about this is I did clear the corrupted zones that were in the area. Two more did pop up, the one on the right, there's one here on the bottom left, but I don't think that pertains to the story to where I gotta go because in the dialogue, I even said that I cleared it, so we're gonna go back there and see if they let us through the gates this time. Has something attacked the Karja fruit? Well, well, well. The corruption made its way right to their front porch. There's really only one big one to worry about, so we'll give him the trip caster. This is my favorite weapon so far. It's just, it's beautiful. You can literally box yourself in. I know they're dangerous, but I'm just as dangerous. You can box yourself in and then start shooting with arrows. Look at this, look at this beasting and feasting. Got him. Just like that, he goes down to the ground. Now we got the little babies to deal with. Look at these babies, and now we know that that is smog. I remember the first time I saw that corruption cheese. 
I thought it was just like their lights, their laser. I didn't think it was actually dangerous. Look at this thing jumping over the trap. I don't know how he jumped over the trap anyway. I've never seen him do that. Those little things are pretty smart, huh? Look, it's jumping again. Okay, you want the arrows? You can have the arrows. You can have that fire. Truly, the sun shines upon us this day. It wasn't the sun risking its ass down here. So, will you open the gate for me now? <laughs> you heard her. Open the gates and send word to Captain Balan. Where are you headed, girl? West, to Meridian. The way of broken stones is a hard run, even in the best of times. You might want to have a word with Captain Balan. He came from Meridian not long ago. You find him in the fort, on a balcony to the left, overlooking the valley. Okay, thanks. We're the ones who should be thanking you for taking down those machines. Walk in light, Nora. I just purchased all new weapons, including two shadow weapons. It's about time. We need more firepower. Let's go. When I go in there, I should be able to override new machines if I make it out alive. Quite a door, but how to open it? This should be good because in so many of my episodes that I've already uploaded, you've heard her complain whenever we see a new type of machine and she's saying there's gotta be a way that I can override that. So finally, I found my first dungeon, Cauldron. And this is where you get the upgrade. So they have various ones all throughout the map. And we need this because I need to be able to really start overriding, not just the first set of bums, because the enemies, like the Sawtooth, they're getting stronger, so I need to be able to get those on my team. The metal, the light. It's like this entire place is part of some huge machine. But who made it? It's the aliens. They made this place. What I'm doing right now, this is actually, I think it's considered a secondary mission. But unlike other secondary missions, this is going to help me going forward even in the main game because you need to be able to override newer machines. So I figured why not record this. That thing looks like a triangular pipe. What's it for? Let me know in the comments section below if I should include this. Oh, here we go. Here go the enemies. If I should include these missions in the videos or should I skip over them? We'll find out. Ah. I wanted the silent strike. What is that? Now my cover's been blown. It's all good. I got my favorite weapon. Take that. Double kill. So give me some feedback in the comment section. Obviously, after the video and after I complete this, let me know if when I find another one of these, if I should include it in the videos or just skip over it and stick with the story. Those things are moving components around. I wonder where. So let's go ahead and jump through there. Hopefully it's not like a big fall once you get through. Or actually, my bad. Okay, so I can't go through there. Yeah, that's definitely some alien technology. I guess outside is where I gotta go because I thought that maybe this was how you get out of here. Because see, it looks like you can go up, but maybe not. Maybe you're supposed to go this way. This game is starting to get good now. The level of upgrades, I actually just got the fast travel so you can always fast travel. I think it's called the gold travel pack or something like that. I just did that. And then also I need your, your feedback as well because there's gonna be a armor mission where there's special armor, but that's when I'm at level 25 around there. It's not right now, I'm only level 16. So if I try to do it now, I'll probably get beasted and feasted on and I might not even be able to complete it because the story hasn't progressed to that part but when i do that when i go after that special armor because that's kind of a secondary mission let me know in the comment section if i should include that in videos or if i should skip it i'm anticipating more enemies but they're not really coming right now i guess i gotta go closer and closer to the middle or the heart of this location like she was saying that thing near the gap 
What does it do? I think I can override that, to be honest. That's what it looks like. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to go to the right because that little... Whatever that blue stuff is, we can't go through it. Yes, we override this. Wow, this place is crazy. We've been traveling forever and we still haven't made it to where we got to go. Like, who built this stuff? They've got to be aliens. There's no way that people could make something like this. Machines making machines. No jobs. In their society, the people don't have jobs. They probably don't even have people. <laughs> It looks like those flying machines move components around. Might be able to take me somewhere. Now this is dangerous. We're gonna take a ride from the bottom. But what if we have to go through one of those blue doors? Might regret this. So should I jump off or what? Or should I just keep going? Because if it goes into one of those blue doors, we're done. It kind of feels like I'm supposed to drop myself off somewhere or maybe not. I don't want to be down there, that's for sure. But where do I hop off? Do I hop off on one of these things? On the side of one of these things? Oh no, there goes the door. There goes the blue. I've got as far as this thing will take me. Never mind, I'm good. Here we go. I definitely don't want to be seen here. They do have one of those big guys back there. Not sure what type of machine, but I don't really want to have to deal with that. Plus all these little machines too. So we'll try to sneak by everybody if possible. Drop myself off right here. And I, I'm going to go ahead and shoot this with the regular arrow. Let's see what it does. Wow, that is perfect. Let's shoot all of those then. And there is one all the way over there. So if I shoot that, I, sh I might be able to just go by everybody here without actually fighting. Uh-oh, this big guy is coming up here. Wow, he saw me. It must've been the arrows when I'm trying to set up my escape. Oh no, wait, no, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to lay down the trip caster. And I'm gonna just lay down a bunch of them. So if he goes through that, I can't override this machine yet. I need to find a way to. It'll never see me. Got him! That's the first one. Oh! What a splash! Taking off three compounds. And I think this might be it. This might be the core. Look at this. It looks like that machine carries fluid in those sacks. Not sure I want to find out what cut. This is definitely it. The boss battle. I defeat that thing. I have a new set of machines that I can override. There's three of these towers, so I might have to do this three times. We've got to override, and then I'm ready to fight. I've already checked its weaknesses. It has like a shock weakness and then its strength is fire. So I have a fire potion. I'm ready to be resistant to about 75% of fire for 90 seconds. I have four of them. I'm ready. I'm aggressive. Let's lay down these traps. I got the first potion already in use. And it's working good, or maybe that's the cover, I don't know. But I'm ready. Let's lay this down. Come follow me, follow me over there, go through that. You know you wanna go through the trap. It's spitting flames like a dragon. How can it do that? I don't know, these machines are crazy. We got them, yes. Critical hit, line it up. 
Man, its health is crazy. So we just gotta keep doing this. We gotta keep boxing them in. Blow up, blow up, blow up. Coming this way. Trip over that wire. We got him. Another critical hit. Incoming. Uh oh. Ooh, I'm taking hits. This isn't good. It's those little guys. The little guys are lighting me up. The critical hit barely did anything. Wow. That is crazy. That's because my spear, it is pretty weak. So maybe we don't even want to do the critical hits. I don't know. Let's lay down this because that's definitely working. He's getting shocked a little bit when I lay this down. I'm not even focusing on those baby machines. I don't even care. There we go. Another mean hit. Another vicious hit. Almost at 50%. We're doing good. Oh, no. Crossover. Woo. Come this way. Come on, machine. You know you want to come this way. We got him. Going in for the hit. Oh, wait. No. Oh. That's almost a murder. See, I thought that he got shocked, but he did not that time. He's desperate. Look at this. We're going to go ahead and use the arrows. This thing is desperate. He knows he's weak. He knows it. 25% health. There's nothing he can do. I got too much fire. Oh, the potion. I can't be touched. Beautiful execution. That doesn't do anything to charge. He's charging out of desperation. Got him. Too easy. I'm too much of a beast. I collected everything I could in here before I go on. Now it's time to see what machines can we override now? The sawtooth, the scrapper, the grazer, and the lanthorn. That's nice. The next episode will come out when this video hits 10,000 likes. Making my move now, please. Nobody look. That guy right there, don't turn around, please. I'm in the grass. Playing stealthy is healthy. And look at that. Look at the timing, chuck clock cheese.